Yeah. yeah. Right? Yes. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. And then we go. Hey, so we are on Jam's Drupal Camp, and Patrick Rotleff is about to show us test me, which is a fantastic tool that he's developed to maintain. Patrick, what gave you the idea to to set up Simply Test Me? How did how did that how did that happen? I think Simply the, the, the idea of Simply Test Me is actually pretty obvious. Like having sandboxes live started, it, it's I, I think the only reason that nobody has done it before is because it seems hard. And it, it's not even that hard. So I don't think I had to I had to think a lot about about getting the idea because it it was it was there. I think a lot of people already thought about it, but nobody really touched it yet. Okay, all right, fair enough. The smart guy, who's the first one to do it, is allowed to say it was perfectly obvious and easy. I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> would you like to give a quick shout out to your sponsors who who help uh, with the infrastructure? Yes, sure. I, I was already playing that for a session, but um, I'm sponsored by four companies right now, which are paying all the servers. And it's Maloon, it's Bright Solutions, it's Reality Loop, and Druid. And they are paying. Uh, so the, the the longest sponsor, Maloon and Reality Loop, are pay, are having paid the servers for about two years now. So they they really keep Simi test me running for years and it's really really great to have these kinds of sponsors that don't jump off and just keep on sponsoring and it's it's great you should check them out they are great people we and will link to a lot. we will link to all of those companies they are all great companies and and thank you uh, sponsors for for helping the Drupal community in this way um, and Oh, so when I was in Amsterdam, I think maybe 10 or 10 minutes after Dries announced that Drupal 8 Beta 1 was live, I saw a tweet from you that said it was now also available on Simply Test Me. Please, um, when, when, when you... So I can test out anything that's on Drupal.org with Simply Test Me. So is that automatic, or do you have to go and do something when there's a new release of Drupal? So it just um, fetches all the current tags and branches from Drupal.org, and it caches them for a certain amount of time. So it basically is instant as soon as the cache is cleared, the version cache. So if, if there is a new release for any project, it will automatically be added to Simply Test Me. You don't have to do anything. Uh huh. And if there's something especially exciting, you could go and uh, clear the cache manually to get it up there faster. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Hey, so um, this is really, really nice stuff. Thanks for coming on. I'm going to turn it over to you um, to talk about Simply Test Me and give us a demo. And I will catch you back uh, when you're done. Great. Thank you. So, hi. My name is Patrick D. I'm making the Simply Test Me website, which I'm going to share now with my screen. No, I hope you can see it. So Simply Test Me is an online web service that basically it's a website that um, makes you en enables you to start a sandbox environment for any. Drupal project that is hosted on Drupal.org. So you can type in any module theme distribution or Drupal core, Drupal core project that is hosted on Drupal.org. For example, 
The link module is a project that is hosted on Drupal.org. And when you selected a project, as you can see, it will suggest you. When you type in, it will suggest you a lot of projects that are hosted on Drupal.org. And you pick one. And um, there are also all the versions available for the project displayed. And you pick a version. And you just hit Launch Sandbox. And what will happen now, it will fetch the project that you selected. It will resolve its dependencies. And it will basically launch a Sandbox site where you can do whatever you want with the Sandbox for a certain amount of time. And then the Sandbox will just be destroyed. And it's gone, and you could you could mess around with, you can mess around with the site as much as you want because it, it doesn't matter in the long term. So now I've started a sandbox with the link module. As you can see in the bottom left corner, there's a counter which is currently counting down from 30 minutes. So if you are starting a sandbox from Simultest Me, you will get 30 minutes for your sandbox. If that is not enough for you, you can go to Simultest Me. You can re register yourself here in the footer, register, and create your own account. And when you are logged in to Simply Test Me and launch a sandbox while you are logged in, you will get a runtime of six hours instead of 30 minutes. So that's a lot more, especially if you have to do very detailed testing or you have to do a presentation about uh, distribution or something like that, you need more time, and that's how you get it. You can also get even more time if you just ask, so I can give you the permission to have more time if you really need it. Just contact me. So, get back. Like I said, when you enter a project here, for example, the link, you can also add more projects. If you click on Advanced Options, you can add additional projects. The disadvantage here is that you can't pick a version of these additional modules. And the dependencies of these additional modules are not fetched. So for example, if you want to test link module and rules, it's not recommended to put rules into additional projects because it has a lot of dependencies. And what you want to do here is instead to Select rules as first project. Select the Drupal version, the 7 version, and put a link here. And if you hit now launch, launch sandbox, it will start a sandbox. It will download rules. It will download all the dependencies of rules. And it will also download the link module. And what it will also do is it will try to enable rules. So if it works, it will automatically install the Drupal 7 site, and it will automatically enable the rules module. Patrick? Yes? So does that mean that the projects I put in the main project box, um, the dependencies will be taken care of, but additional project dependencies won't, the way it's set up right now? That's correct, yeah. That's unfortunately a, a big advantage of the current system, that it's not possible to fetch the dependencies of additional projects. Mm. So, so I guess. Um, you either have to know a little bit about uh, the different modules, or you have to do some trial and error to figure out which ones you really need to load load first and which ones you can get away with loading after? Unfortunately, yes. So Are what you... is planned to, to do is that you can add more projects here and also have to, can pick the version, and the dependency will be resolved. But that's not currently possible. So at the moment, you can only add more projects here. and. Okay, yeah. sounds like sounds like somebody needs to sponsor some of your time for that, huh? <laughs> well, I, I need especially more time rather than money to do it. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. Time is the real issue, but I, I'm still working on it. it. It will come, I guess, next year. Do you take feature requests? Yeah, absolutely. So if if you got any feature request or or anything to report like feedback. You can just go here, report the problem, and you can create an issue in the Semitest Me issue queue and report whatever you want. Support requests, I will I will answer every of them. Or I will at least try. Okay. 
So what you can see is that you will get your own sandbox and you will have your own URL. So you will have um, something like s3.sandbox.me and the first part here in the domain is the submission ID. And as, as long as you don't share this URL with anyone else, so you can share it with someone who also wants to, want to access the sandbox, but if you don't share it with anyone, you can be pretty sure that nobody else is going to see your sandbox. It's not 100% safe, right? It's a, it's a public site, but you first had to fig figure out this hash, basically. Um, another thing in the corner here is the QR code which basically enables you to move the test over to your mobile phone. So if you want to keep testing your project or the, the sandbox, you can just um, scan the QR code and continue testing on your mobile device. Or what you also can do, you can directly launch the sandbox from the test me site because it's pretty responsive. So if you make it really small, it still works. Yeah, and that's that's about the the most important stuff. What is also interesting about Drupal 8, especially, so you can already test Drupal 8 on Semitest Me. There are all the the Drupal 8 releases that have been, and you can also test the the most the the most current code is, that is available for Drupal 8. If you pick the 80x branch, you can launch the sandbox with that. And the problem with 8 is that currently it won't be installed automatically. So if you pick um, a Drupal 7 version or a Drupal 7 module, everything will be installed and enabled automatically. But if you choose Drupal 8, you will have to install Drupal 8 yourself. But it, it is pretty straightforward because you basically only have to click the buttons. Everything that um, requires to be set, like database name, database username, which is all the submission ID. It will all be taken care of automatically. It will all be pre-filled, and you just have to click Save and Continue. The reason why this is currently that way is that you currently can't choose whether you want to have Drupal 8 installed or not. And if I would automatically install Drupal 8, you couldn't test, for example, the Drupal 8 installation process, but it's still important to kind of test the Drupal 8 installation process because Drupal 8 is still not out yet. So we hit everywhere, save and continue. And we're done and we have our own Drupal 8 sandbox site. Okay, yeah, that's the most basic you can get with Simply Test Me. I guess most people who already knew, knew Simply Test Me already knew a lot of this stuff. And if you have your, your own project on, on Drupal.org, another interesting aspect of SimbiTestMe is demoing the SimbiTestMe. So, for example, if you have a, a project on Drupal.org, for example, my project is the, the FAQ field project. It is a module, and I want to have a, a demo site for, for this module. And what I can do now, I can go to the project page and replace the Drupal.org part and just put simply test me in there. What it will do now is it will automatically set FAQ fields and the most current version that is available of the FAQ field module to be selected. And if someone gets to your project page, the only thing the person has to do now is basically click on a link and click launch sandbox. The person will have their own sandbox site for 30 minutes and they can play around with your project. And well, if they like it, they will probably use it. Also, if you want that people will automatically be selecting the, the 7 version, for example, so you probably don't want to, the people to test the, the Drupal 8 version of your project in most cases currently. So what you can also do is you can set the version that should be selected, 7.x minus 1.3. And if you now see, it will automatically select the version that you specified for the project. Another thing that is not widely known about SimbiTestMe is that it has a short URL. So you can replace all the part here away from project SimbiTestMe with PL 
y.st. And what it will, it will just redirect you to the correct URL. Same as for ply.st, which will direct you to simply test me. Or if you already have a sandbox running, for example, this one, you can replace all this simulator me as free part with ply.st, and it will redirect you to the full URL. But it's pretty handy if you have to, to share a link or something. For example, for, for Twitter. Okay, so that's demoing your, your modules or themes distributions with simulators me. And now more in kind of the contribution direction, which what Simulators Me has been really used a lot lately, lately for is testing patches from Drupal.org on Simulators Me. So testing patches on Simulators Me is especially useful for people who don't have a local setup, who don't know how to use Git, people who are not developers. But we still need a lot of people who are not developers because we, we have patches that change the UI. We have patches that change, have impact on the user experience. So it is still important that these people get their hands on the patches that change these aspects of Drupal early, but there, isn't, there hasn't been a really good way to, to enable these people to do that. And Simitest Me is, I guess, the, currently the best solution to solve that. And how you do that is you can add patches on the Simulator's Me page. So for example, we have a Drupal core issue. For example, this one. And what you can do now is you can copy the patch URL, type in Drupal core, we select the branch, so the patch applies. And we paste in the patch URL into the apply patches field. Because that's, that's quite annoying to do every time you test a patch, the Dreditor browser plugin, which you can find on Dreditor, org, org, not org. Thank God for Google. So the Dreditor browser plugin is available for Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. And it basically only adds some very nice JavaScript into Drupal.org to help you working in the queue, in the issue queue, like embedding screenshots, reviewing patches with some syntax highlighting. And there's also a simply test me button for every patch. For example, this patch has a semi-test me button here, and if you click it, it will automatically fill the, the semi-test me page with the correct project, the current branch, and the patch that you clicked on. So you can now just hit launch sandbox, and it will take care of all the stuff, and you can basically test the patch online without having any local environment set up or anything. And come on now. When it's done, we'll have our own sandbox and you can review the code. So another example uh, and it's basically an issue that's, that sometimes occurs when you try to test a patch that is a little bit older. So, for example, we got a patch here. This patch here was created six days ago for the sake of demonstration. Um, it was already committed to a.x, so it won't apply. I couldn't find, I find a good example for, for this, so I just picked one that definitely won't apply. And most patches that don't apply are patches that need reroll. So basically, the patch is a little old, 
and it doesn't apply on top of the latest Drupal 8 core anymore. And what will happen if that's the case is Simitas me will tell you that it fails applying the patch. And it will fail here because it can apply a patch that is already committed to A.x an error cured while patching the project. So when you get an error like this, what you can do is you can take a look at the date. See, this patch was created six days ago. And what we can do now is we can go to Drupal.org project slash Drupal. And on the bottom here in development, repository view, we click on repository view, and then we click on the branch, 80x. And now we have an overview of all the commits that have been committed to Drupal 8 core in the last, like ever. And if we go six days back, like here, you pick any of these states, like this is the code state about six days ago, copy this hash here at the top, which is the commit hash. So this is the, the hash that identifies the state of code six days ago. And what we can do now with a patch that does no longer apply, we can replace the branch with this commit hash, submit, URL, and what we get now is that we have, instead of the branch selected, we have the commit selected. And what will happen now is Simitas me will apply the patch on top of the changes or on, on top of the state of code that Drupal core was six days ago. So this time the patch should apply on, onto the Drupal core code. And also it's, it's an old patch, it doesn't apply anymore. You can still test it because there are many patches who, who that just needs reroll because some files have moved or something like that. But the actual impact on, on, on the Drupal, like the user experience impact is still the same. So for user experience people, it's still, still, it still makes sense to look at, at old pa patches and take a look at them if they just need reroll and nothing else is wrong with them. And now what we got here is we got a patch applied onto Drupal with the code state of six days ago, and we can now test it like, like usual. Yeah, so that's pretty much the most important and most interesting things you can, you can do with simply just me and Drupal.org. If you need more information, there is on Simitas Me. In the footer, you have an, a menu item which is called Questions and Answers. And if you click on that, you will get a lot of general information. You will get a lot of troubleshooting information and developer information. For example, how to build this, these permanent URLs and also information about how to use the short URLs. So everything that is most often asked is probably on this page. If you still don't know about an issue you, you encountered or you have a question or you have had a problem with a project on, on Simitas Me, or you, you just have feedback or a feature request, you just go ahead and here encounter a problem, report a problem. You're, that's the same link for everything you encounter. And it will lead you to the Drupal.org issue queue of Simply Test Me. So Simply Test Me is, is, a, is a project which the code of is hosted on Drupal.org. So Simply Test Me itself is open source. Anyone is, is free to contribute to Simply Test Me to reuse parts of the code if you like to, which is a word of warning there is um, a lot of people are asking me whether they can use simply test me as a basis basically for having their own simply test me in their local company for their own distributions and stuff. 
you can do it. I won't stop you, but it's probably not a very good idea because semi-destiny is very, very strongly depending on, on Drupal.org. So it's, it's really tightly coupled, unfortunately, tightly coupled with Drupal.org, and it will probably not be easily changed to work with your internal company stuff. So it's, it's more like the source code is online to make anyone able to contribute to the project. It's, it's not really intended for you to be reused for, for your own service or something that you can try, but it won't be easy. So about reporting issues or doing feature requests, you, you click on the link and you will get to the issue queue of Cindy Test Me. You click on create a new issue. You fill out the form and I will probably take a look at it at the same day and I will provide you the feedback. And yeah, so as we already partly covered, so who, who's paying all this stuff basically? All the servers that Simitas is running on is, are currently paid by these four sponsors that you can see here. Maloon, Reality Loop, Bright Solutions, and Druid FE. And um, they are taking care of all the server costs. So I don't have to pay just for the servers myself. The servers are completely paid by the companies. The, the time I put into Simbitest Me itself is not paid, basically. Everything I do for Simbitest Me is on my own free time, which I don't have a lot of. But if I do, I work usually work on Simi Just Me. And if you like what I'm doing and you want to support me and the projects I'm working on, you can use Grotty Pay. Grotty Pay is a service for recurring donations. So you can say, I want to donate $1 every week. Or you can also use Flatter, which is for single donations. So if you, if you like the project, please feel free to donate. Right. Yeah, and thanks a lot for the attention. I hope you enjoy some of me. Aha, Patrick, thank you so much. That was really, really interesting. There's uh, a, a bunch of that that is not um, perfectly obvious on the beginning. And I uh, especially like all the different ways that I can save typing um, um, and, and copy pasting and stuff. So fantastic. And if anyone hasn't heard of Dreaditor before and wants to have anything to do with the issue queues, go look at Dreaditor too, because it's amazingly yeah. valuable. And um, so how did you get that integration with Dreaditor and, and Simply Test Me happening? I didn't do anything at all, actually. <laughs> so it, it was really great. It, 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 the people of, of Dreaditor, I think it was Davino with the idea. And they, they, I, I documented how you can pre-fill the, the Simply Test Me page with patches and how you can pre-fill it with the project and everything. And they just they just did it, and it's awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot. So Steve. it's the um, in Germany we'd say it's the 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 Drupal Heinzel mention who just auto magically did it for you. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Fantastic, um, Patrick. Um, so thanks for your session. Thank you much much more for for setting up Simply Test Me. It's it's so valuable. It's such a great resource, and, I, and I'm glad that you're able to dedicate time. Thank you to your sponsors for this. That's that's also such a tremendous Drupal contribution. I hope that in, uh, you know, Dries talked about this new point system for, you know, gamifying and encouraging people to make contributions. I hope that this sort of thing can also be, you know, have its own, uh, have its own points somehow. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that was the session. Um, everyone who only watched this, uh, check out the podcast interview that Patrick and I did. It'll be posted on the same page, aqui.com slash podcasts or aqui.com slash J-A-M-S hyphen Drupal hyphen camp, Jams Drupal camp. And um, yeah, Patrick, have a great day. Thank you very much. You. Any uh, Anything else you need to tell us today? Uh, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> All right. I, 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 Patrick D underscore D E on Twitter. If you if you have want to have the most recent information about what I'm currently working on or or anything related to Simbitest Me, follow me there. You will get the updates.
Perfect. Exactly. Patrick D underscore DE on Twitter. Thank you so much. Take care, Patrick. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.